Hello, my name is Robert Switzler, and I'm a moderate, nonpartisan voter who is not currently affiliated with any political party. However, I used to be a Republican. I strongly believe that in the future, financial strength, even more than military power, will define superpower status in the world. When the Republican Party favored fis fiscal discipline, I used to be a Republican. I strongly believe in the integrity of our judicial system, law enforcement agencies, and military as rule-based, nonpartisan entities. When the Republican Party favored its own organizations without government interference, I used to be a Republican. I strongly believe that free market capitalism and open free trade is the most effective system for a strong and vibrant economy. When the government gets involved with tariffs or increased taxes on certain companies or industries, or conversely, favoring certain companies with tax breaks and corporate handouts, it corrupts everyone involved. When the Republicans favored free market capitalism without government interference, I used to be a Republican. I could go on for another hour on how the Republican Party has abandoned its prior positions, things like states' rights, rational foreign policy, freedom for all religions, economic opportunities for everyone, when Republicans put morality over short-term profit or a short-term political win, I used to be a Republican. I think this discussion highlights why I'm unwilling to support Donald Trump for president in 2020. His immoral, unethical, and incompetent behavior over the past three years has been a betrayal of Republican values, of American values, and of Christian values. It has resulted in some short-term gains for himself and his inner circle, but long-term detriment to our country. I think Joe Biden has the best chance to restore America to its position as the moral and ethical leader of the free world, showing how to achieve success for its citizens in a fair and ethical manner. I have confidence that we will rediscover our morality and remember our common goals as a country, and most importantly, the importance of maintaining the rule of law, even Republicans.